because it might snow. Hopefully don't wash your front wheel on the gravel. You can do like inside outside options. But it's really good to remember where you need to go. What's up? Oh, he's a bit scared. Finish areas right there. So here we are then. <clears throat> World Champs 2024. Doing track walk with these two. Hello, Hello guys. Hello. All good? Awesome. So we had the final stage for the normal bike. Not the e-bike, the e-bike doing this twice, I think. I just heard from the e-bike girl. <laughs> <laughs> so up on stage one, weather is looking nice. We're in t-shirts, but uh, it's meant to change quite quickly over the next few days. So, so yeah, weather is nice at the moment. So um, let's head for track walk, day one of World Champs. So um, here we go. Just walk the first bit of the track, a couple of tight corners. Now, this is one of the fastest yep. bits of the track. And then heading straight into a little climb. It's not too bad though, it's like 20 seconds maybe, 30 seconds. So not as bad as the climb we had last year on one of the other stages. But it will definitely get your heart rate pumping, especially uh, at the end of the day, because it's of course the last stage. But uh, it's a nice little in-between thing where you can maybe reset a little bit um, for the last bit of the track. So uh, according to the weather forecast, it might snow um, on Friday, I think. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if some schedule changes would be there. Um, so yeah, this is still the climb. Some of the rest of the track is down there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's always good to do some track walking. So you have to not study all the tracks after practice day. And uh, if there's gonna be a little bit of snow on the track, for practice it's nice to know what's beneath the snow as well. So yeah, this is the end of the climb. So uh, downward from here. So, so off of the fire road we come. And you can see a little bit of the tire mark from last year. So the corner goes all the way there, 90 degree. And where Henry is stood, that's the line. Set up wide over this rock. Then you have enough commitment over this one. And then hopefully don't wash your front wheel on the gravel. And then, yeah, the guys are still doing some work on the track. Thank you guys. Bro got a good bike as well. Look at that canyon. That's what we like to see. Approaching more of the technical stuff now. So we were just walking up there. That's where the climb is. Um, main line would be just here where Henry is stood and then in the rut, just like that. Um, but we are trying to see if we can make it a little bit wider. Like hop from here, land on these, this little rock and then try to have a lot of braking power and then avoid those sniper routes up there and then get a proper exit or entry for the rut. So it's quite cool to show a bit more insights um, of what goes into doing these track walks just to strain everything up a little bit and yeah, get some more grip going so you can go a bit faster because if you look here, you can see these ruts are, roots are already coming out a little bit. And if these are going to be wet and a bit like dragged out, yeah, then it's going to be quite slippy. And this rut has a nice catch anyway. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. And then this bit is the same as last year and super rooty and quite spicy as well. So a couple of options you can do here as well, either inside, outside and probably tuck the front on the route. Um, so yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see what we do here. Um, definitely a lot of options, and I remember last year, quite a bit of carnage. So getting quite quite janky over here. You can do like inside outside options. But it's really good to remember where you need to go because there's so many sniper routes and rocks here. And if it's wet, this is going to be sketchy.
So approaching the last bit, before this was all covered in trees, but now we've taken away everything. A little, little bridge on here. And uh, yeah, we're just approaching the last bit. Finish area is just right there. So yeah, typical track. It's dry right now, but uh, we're looking a bit at the lines as they're gonna be wet as well, or at least uh, a bit destroyed. So yeah, it looks to be a cool track. A bit of like pushy at the end here with some little punchy uphills. Will be will be quite soft here as the dirt is already soft right now. Um, but with some tire marks on it, it will be a little bit worse, I think, or a little bit deeper, let's say. But uh, yeah, cool track. So this is the final stage of our race. We'll be doing five stages in total. Um, one, one up there, and then the other three up on this side. And then uh, yeah, the views are always super cool here. So. Looking forward to, to going out on the bikes and racing here. We got the World Champs sign just over there. And then finish areas right there. Got a little road gap right there. And then into the goats field. But I reckon I'll take them away because otherwise it's going to be quite sketchy. Noise. So that's it for track walk here in Faldi Fassa. Just finishing here in the goat's field. What's up, homie? I reckon he wants to be in the vlog, so I'll give him a shout out. What's up? Oh, he's a bit scared. So yes, um, this looks like it's gonna be the rollout and the finish area. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna walk stage one as well, but I think that'll be enough to share track walk wise for this video. So yeah, day one of World Champs right here, done and dusted. Track walk is uh, finished. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the next videos to come and uh, yeah, let's make it a good one.